Hi friends, it's day two of my stay at home for 14, 14 days because of this COVID-19 virus. Okay, I thought we'd do the story today. Dave the donkey. Are you ready? Here we go. I'll take my glasses off so I can see the book. That's better. Here we go. Dave the donkey was so excited. He'd been watching all week for Grandpa Donkey to get back from Jerusalem. Dave had some big news that he was waiting to share with him. Grandpa! Grandpa! You won't believe it! I carried the king into Jerusalem. You're joking, Dave. No, it's true. I carried the king. I was standing outside, minding my own business, when the king's servant came and untied me and led me to the king. And the king jumped on my back and we charged down the hill and up the mountain, go, 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 to Jerusalem. The crowd waved palm branches and everyone cheered, Hooray for the king! Long live the king! Then we said goodbye and I headed home and let the king get on with the job of being king. So, Grandpa, you've been in Jerusalem since then. Tell me, what happened next? Did the crowd keep cheering for the king? Well, Dave, the crowd was certainly yelling for the king. Wow, said Dave, and I'm sure all the leaders came to meet him. Yes, sighed Grandpa, the king did meet all the leaders. And Grandpa, they would have placed a golden crown upon the king's head. They certainly crowned the king, but the crown was not made of gold. The throne, Grandpa! They must have led the king into the palace, sat him on a throne and cheered, Long live the king! No, Dave, sighed Grandpa. There was no throne. They led the king out of Jerusalem and they nailed him to a cross. Dave was stunned. A cross. So, so the king, the king is dead. No, Dave, the king was dead. The king was placed in a tomb and the tomb was sealed with a heavy stone. But now the king is alive. The king was dead but the tomb is empty and the king is alive. Dave stared across the valley to Jerusalem as the strange and wonderful news rolled through his mind. The king was dead, but now he is alive. Grandpa asked Dave, have you ever carried someone special that you'll never forget? Yes, Dave, said Grandpa. As a matter of fact, I have. It was long ago on a starry night like this one. I carried someone special that I'll never forget. Hooray for the King, Dave. Long live the King. Well, my 
my friends. That's the story of Dave the Donkey. A strange and wonderful story, hard to get your head around, and probably a good story for the moment where things are all a bit strange. Not all wonderful, but hard to get your head around. Let me show you a couple of pictures. Oh, I like this one. I like that um, Dave and Grandpa, they're doing the two meters apart. That's, that's nice and safe at the moment. Now you're probably feeling like giving your grandpas big hugs, but we can't always do it at the moment. So maybe just cheering from a distance is a good thing to do. Well done, Dave. Oh, and down here, let me show you this picture here. Near the end, getting there, oh, further. Oh, found it. Now, um, now kids, if you want to go off and um, pack the dishwasher or paint the fridge, fridge, I just want to have a word to your mum for the moment. So go get mum. Hi mum. Now mum, if you're expecting a baby at the moment and you're a bit worried about it, my wife Rosalind is a midwife and she'd be really happy if you wanted to contact her. She could put you in touch with midwives right around Australia, just if you're a bit worried. You'll find her at hollowbabymidwifery.com.au. We'll write that on the thingy underneath the video. Okay, kids, you can come back now. Hope you've packed the dishwasher. I oh, hope you've painted the fridge a nice colour. That's good, that's good. Okay, that's the book. I think we should do some drawing. Okay, my friends, let me show you how I draw Dave. Oh, we'll start with you. An eye here, well this is a thick texture, and another eye like this, and we're looking out, there we have, and it's, now his nose, it sort of goes way up like that, and then it's sort of big, he's quite happy, there's, there he is, and then I'll do a bit of a bump on his head, and I'll do one ear, oh have I got room? Yeah, or just about, I've sort of made him a bit big, but there's an ear going there, and this other ear, going way up like this. And that's how I might, might get it going. And then bring it down like this, and like that. And that's sort of a bit of a look of day. Now in his ear, I like to put this. So, keeps, so you can hear what's going on. We need some nose holes. And Dave's pretty excited, so I reckon we'll put his, his body's over here. But let's have him, or oh, let's have him waving, doing a wave. So I draw his hands, arms, arms, feet, like that, try that out. And with his hoofs, I sort of give them a little bit of a sharp, down like that, and like that. And if we colour it in, That's one hoof. And then if I want, we can just draw a bit of an arm where the other arm and tidy up his mane. That's good. So that's that's how I might draw a day. Let, let's do some background. So I'll just do in the background. There we go. Some hills off towards Jerusalem. Uh, line that one up. Yeah. That's it. Well, let's do another hill. They're all about there, kind of like this. And let's put Jerusalem up here. So we put, there's the city. Let's put a gate like that. I can't remember how I've drawn it in the book, but we'll put, sometimes if you just put a few interesting things on top, that gives a feel of a city. Oh, that, makes that one there, that one like that. Oh, and I think we could have a road, so you could have that running down there. The other one, so that once you pop a road on, that gives a feeling of a hill. And we could have it curving off like that as well. Oops, I lined it up just a little bit above. I'll make it bigger, and so that gives a little bit of an idea. Didn't quite line those up how I'd like, but that's how I might draw day. Let's put the moon in the sky as well. Fantastic!